Hi guys, how are you? Brick Nostalgia here today. Uh, today, I would like to review uh, with you these uh, uh, custom build that is uh, a customized version of a legendary Black Tron 2 um, set. Uh, set number 6988 Alpha Centauri Outpost. So I'm talking about the space base um, from the Black Tron 2 theme. So this is the build. Uh, just very briefly before we get into it, I would like to tell you very briefly what um, what's the story behind that, that got me to um, come up with this build. So when I was a little kid, um, I had the most of the Blacktron 2 uh, set. Uh, I grew up with them then, and. Um, um, as an adult, I wanted to make sure I was going to have uh, uh, this one, uh, the space base, in my collection as well. Uh, but once I had uh, this build in front of me, I actually realized I wasn't so impressed about it. Uh, because while I like a lot the spaceship and this base plate, I've, uh, I haven't really been very impressed about this part of the build, uh, mainly because there's plenty of empty space and not, uh, not much going on. If you just take, if you get rid of these two big transparent, uh, translucent pieces, you can see that there's not really anything going on on top of the base plate. So uh, I thought about taking that build and customize it and um, what I decided to go for was uh, to try to reproduce in a Black Tron 2 color skin um, this uh, build that you see here that is actually the space base of the Black Tron 1 theme that was released a few years earlier. Um, I like a lot this build, there's a lot going on, it's, um, it's full of uh, features and looks pretty good to me. Uh, I had a look at the inventory um, list uh, on Brinklink for the two uh, sets and I noticed that the main parts were, um, were in common, let's say. Um, so I decided to go for it and see what was going to come out of this build. So, um, let's uh, get into the set and let's uh, have a quick uh, uh, and closer look to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you once again a last overview of the whole uh, set complete. Uh, before we move to detail, uh, I'm gonna get rid of this half of the bill um, because it's uh, exactly the same uh, as uh, uh, the one in um, the original build. The spaceship is the same, I haven't touched anything because I like it a lot. This little rover is the same. Uh, the only thing uh, that I added as an accessory for the platform is this uh, feature, um, but we'll eventually talk about it uh, at, the, at the very end. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is to get rid of all these and then we're gonna focus only on this uh, right side of the build. Okay, so um, let's have a look at this uh, main front uh, uh, part. As you can see there is uh, a spaceship that can be accommodated to this platform. Um, these two, the two big translucent pieces uh, have been moved uh, and used uh, for a different purpose and they're going to be part of this function that is present also in the Black Tron 1 base which is that if you turn this axle as you can see you can uh, um, open up the whole thing and this is supposed to be done in order to allow the spaceship eventually to take off so very nice feature and I think the look, the design of the whole thing improves a lot using these big pieces uh, um, this way. Now let me give you a bit of a close up like that and what you can see 
now is uh, the whole platform that has uh, plenty of room for the Magnifics to walk around <clears throat> over this corner you can see there is uh, one of the classic uh, Blacktron 2 uh, letter boxes let's call them like that there's uh, next to them there are a couple of clips uh, more could be added I just had two white clips left but you can add up to four more and you can use those clips uh, to um, in um, to attach uh, space uh, equipment um, on this side um, things are a bit different we're gonna discuss them in a minute and uh, another interesting feature is this one that you see over here where there are these two big uh, uh, black dishes that are also present in the black trim one base and look uh, give it a, a good look I would say so let me give you a bit let me turn this around so you can have a bit of a look from the sides not much going on over here they just, just try to keep um, the lines and the color scheme appropriate for uh, uh, this, the Black Tron 2 team. Now here is a view from the back and this is very interesting I would say actually. I like a lot how the back is presented. One thing I would like to notice is that here I like a lot this very sharp shape that is presenting and that's thanks to the use of lots of inverted slopes uh, over here. Uh, I didn't have exactly the pieces that were present in the original build that would have given a more smooth um, line to these two sections but I, so I replaced them with uh, these black, uh, sorry, these inverted slopes and uh, I like a lot what came out of it. This back cleans up very well, there is this little control section con um, and these letters this letter here on top just as uh, um, as in the black trim one base I really like how it cleans up the back here then there is this side uh, where it made things a bit different in order to take advantage of uh, or to try to fit the whole thing properly consider that there is a, a, a slope here the platform changes shape and there is this ramp that somehow has to be integrated in the build I like a lot what came out of here the use of these uh, translucent pieces with these slopes uh, in order to <clears throat> create a nice access a nice entry for uh, to the base and it's a bit tight <laughs> some more work could be done uh, to it in order to expand things a bit and allow for more space to show up uh, however the little rover fits right in already so the, the job was good enough let's say what came out of here what is presented here is still is already good enough just there's definitely room for improve them for improvement anyway so this is it guys and uh, this is the front once again so I think pretty much uh, that's it let's uh, put the whole thing back together once again and let's go um, let's get into some final considerations okay guys so this is the whole build put together once again as final consideration I just would like to say that I really like this build and I prefer it a lot more to uh, its original one so this is the one that is going uh, to be on my shelf um, on on a permanent basis it's um, mainly made with the pieces uh, uh, that come with the original set I just had to add more pieces to get the whole thing together but they're very cheap very popular very common pieces um, in very uh, common uh, colors all pretty much white uh, and black pieces 
the very last thing I would like to point out before I leave you is um, <clears throat> to discuss very briefly the purpose of this build that I put together. Now, uh, this is the light function that um, comes with, uh, with its original build and the idea I had in order to use this feature was to put this together and make it as a light signal somewhere over here for the spaceship that is uh, landing and take off. Uh, the, what came out was just this one because there is a problem about the box being very big and these lights taking a lot of space so for the moment I just put it like this I just put the whole thing together like this but I wouldn't mind uh, to find uh, um, a better purpose for it maybe to incorporate it somewhere over here so about that feel free to give me suggestions guys if you have any idea and uh, feel free to comment in the comment section and I will evaluate and we'll see if anything interesting comes up um, so that more work can be put into this build okay so thank you very much guys um, and see you later bye bye